tell us more? <laughs> <laughs> she probably will. <laughs> I don't know. We didn't, wasn't sure if you knew Taylor Swift. Was. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Apparently, she's dating a football player. Yes. yes. Like Do you have any insights on that? <laughs> the president reaffirmed the strong commitment of the United States to supporting Ukraine as it defends itself for as long as it takes, uh, as did every other leader on the call. The leaders discussed efforts to continue providing Ukraine with the ammunition and the weapon systems that it needs to defend its territory and to continue strengthening Ukrainian air defenses as they pre prepare for more attacks on critical infrastructure now, certainly, but also certainly in the winter months ahead. Uh, joining President Biden on the call was Prime Minister Trudeau of Canada, President von der Leyen of the European Commission, President Michel of the European Council, Chancellor Schultz of Germany, Prime Minister Maloney of Italy, Prime Minister Kishida of Japan, NATO Secretary General Stoltenberg, President Duda of Poland, President Ioannis of Romania, and Prime Minister Sunak of the United Kingdom, as well as the Foreign Minister of France, uh, Foreign Minister Colonna. Now this call, of course, comes on the heels of the continuing resolution passed by Congress over the weekend, a bill that did not include funding to support Ukraine. As President Biden made clear, we cannot under any circumstances allow America's support for Ukraine to be interrupted. Time is not our friend. We have enough funding authorities to meet Ukraine's battlefields, battlefield needs for a bit longer. But we need Congress to act to ensure that there is no disruption in our support. As Ukrainians wage a tough counteroffensive, as their children continue to get ripped from the bosom of their families, and as winter fast approaches, it is imperative that we help them take advantage of every single day. A lapse in support for even a short period of time could make all the difference on the battlefield. Just as critically, such a lapse in support will make Putin believe that he can, out, he can wait us out uh, and that, the, that he can continue the conflict until we and our allies and our partners fold. So the president looks forward to working with Congress to ensure that we make good on our commitment. And he has every expectation that Speaker McCarthy will keep his public commitment to secure the passage of the support needed to help Ukraine at this critical moment. I'll close with this. Supporting Ukraine strengthens our national security. It's the right thing to do, not just for the Ukrainian people, but for the American people as well. Countering Putin's ability to wage war on a neighboring nation may actually prevent a larger conflict in which American troops might be needed.